Hello, uh, today I will be demonstrating how to do the chapter 4 uh, skip in Thrace Fire Emblem Thracia 776. So uh, I should explain exactly what this is first. Um, this, is R this is RNG manipulation, so first of all this is technically something the game developers did not want, to, want you to do and is cheating. I'm not denying that at all. This is definitely not something people will consider legitimate in some ways, like, but it is still something you can do, and I think it's interesting, and people might want no, might want to know how to do it in case they, for some reason, either want to speed the run the game in some way, or they just want to avoid this counter because they hate it. Because obviously, if you played this game, you know what the hell is here. There's a bunch of dudes, and uh, it requires you to basically fight all of them, or like do the the funny strategy where you like go around in a circle and just avoid them completely, which is funny, but also takes a lot longer. So, uh, uh, there are, there's a few things to keep in mind when you first do this. So, like, you need to have every, all these characters here in this is exact spot. Also, keep in mind that you can't use Brighton because you cannot escape with him in this strategy because, uh, he both cannot be carried by anyone and also he does not have a Vigor Star for you to proc. So, unfortunately, we have to leave him behind for this to work, but... Maybe if you, like, got Fergus to, like, 12 con to carry him, it could work, but, like, that would obviously take really long and probably not be worth it. It'd be funny, maybe, if you could do it, but then, like, uh, no. Well, I guess, yeah, because uh, cause Bright Brighton could not carry Fergus, that's not, well, well, whatever. So, okay, so first thing you need to keep in mind is that the distance between this spot and the exit is six spaces, meaning that anyone with six spaces can just walk here from the door opening with no issues, or, or seven, because you know the thieves here have seven move, Laura and Leafus both have seven, Leaf has six, uh, Fergus and Karen Kadin have five, so they cannot make it on their own without some kind of extra help, and Macha has six, Brighton has five too, so we can't make it obviously. So to, to do, to, for this the first work we need to have a door key, because in order for Leaf, for, in order for Leaf and Macha to both make it, they need to be at these spots because they both have six move. Uh, so Macha can just walk be without a bigger. She doesn't have the chance to probably proc a bigger star, but Leaf does. So we can both open the door with him with the door key, then leave because uh, the guy that was here had a door key and we took his door keys. So that's what we're using. This does not require you to take a door key with you to this chapter because you can get one from that guy. Uh, and we can't open the door with Leafus or Laura because we need to have Leaf here for this to work. And they can make it from this spot anyway. And, uh, conveniently, Leafus has exactly enough con to be able to carry Laura without movement, uh, penalty, because she has three and he has six, so they can exactly make it, and the only diff- the most difficult one is Fergus, who, he can carry Karen, and he has a 5% Vigor Star chance just like, uh, Leaf, so they have the say you they proc it in the same way, and Leafus and Laura both have a 5% chance too, so you can make the use of that also, and, yeah. But anyway, let's go ahead and just- show how it's done basically. So first you want to like uh, status screen with Fergus and then do this and then go down and start an attack command with Macha and then you literally just sit here and press any direction on the directional pad 70 times. So I'm gonna do this as fast as I can so I'm not gonna talk when I'm doing this so just keep that in mind. Now we just uh, take the all the things from her, and then open the door and proc a vigor star, and then we just do the same thing again. Then we just do this with Fergus, and then he can just leave. And then everyone else can leave. And then that's basically it. Um, I forgot what else I was going to say. Uh, so before I, with, I leave with everyone... So yeah, we can just leave them, then Leaf can also make it. Uh, there are other ways you can do this. You could have Leaf, like, proc a bigger star and carry Kadin if you want to do that or something like that. 
There's a bunch of different combinations you can do this, but uh, essentially what I did is I just like pressed down, left and down a bunch to do that as fast as possible. And uh, by the way, um, this guy's health has an effect on if you can manip manipulate it or not, because if, if, uh, if this guy is at the amount of HP in defense where Macha can kill him with a crit in that, in that, in that uh, combat, then this won't work. But the, the backup for that is just use the Slim Sword because the Slim Sword does less damage and therefore would not kill him with a crit, most likely. Unless he has incredibly low HP. It should work. Uh, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. And there's other things I probably will figure out, but I can also demonstrate how to do this with other combinations of characters. So I'll be right back and show you that. If Yeah. Okay, we're back, and uh, I figured out that there's actually a weird thing with this. I actually need to have items in Leaf's inventory for this to work, apparently, because it didn't work without them on, without anything, so just a note there. And also, we're carrying Kadim with Leaf, which he can do, but he can only move three spaces with that, so he needs to trigger a movement star to make it. And she can just make it after opening the door, so it's fine. So we'll just do this again, and it's going to be pretty simple, the same thing. Uh, status screen, then do a diagonal movement, any diagonal movement. It has to be, well, if you're standing here, it can't be here. That wouldn't work, I'm pretty sure. It has to be either here or here, because because when she's going this direction, she can only be facing north, because it's an entrance. But if she's going this way, she'll either, she can go this way, or she can go the other way, so. It, it, it changes how the game's RNG works, basically, whichever direction you move. If you can only go one direction when you move that way, or whatever, it's complicated, but whatever. Alright, got one. So, by the way, this is 70 ticks. We diagonal, and then we go and activate attack, and then 70. Two, three, four. There we go. So, yeah, got that. We can just leave with Laura, and that's it. Well, this is the show that you can. You can make this work with uh, Leaf triggering one, Leaf Laura triggering one, or Leafus triggering one, uh, or Fergus. I mean, too. I think, I think with Leafus you could do it faster because he has a ten percent chance, not a five. But I'm not sure exactly how to do that. I think if you just do the same one as this, it, sh it should still work. But essentially, any combination, you can find a lot of different combinations. I just, I just wanted to show at least one example of a different one than the the one where you escape with most the most characters, and yeah. So, uh, there are other things that Vigor Star manip manipulations can be used. I should say that, uh, this can work on the emulator or on console. This is not, like, an emulator-specific thing at all. And, uh, what else is there? Like, uh, this always- so, like, this might delve into a little bit of how the game's RNG works in general, but this- like, essentially how this game works is that whenever you open a new chapter, it- selects an RNG seed based on which frame you started it on. So this works regardless of which frame you used, because if you just do this, if you reset, it it has like the same RNs if when at like a certain frame times after you status screen with someone. So you can use this to your advantage to always make this work basically. So yeah. It's it's kinda complicated and stuff, but knowing how to do it isn't really that complicated, I think. And also like the what what I was doing here is I like I just like uh, did that, and then we just, I just pressed down and left 35 times, and that 35 times 2 is obviously 70, so yeah, and we can just escape with leaf, like this, and then, yeah, just out, there's just, well, we're, we're obviously leaving these people behind, and you have to leave frightened behind to do, to do this, <laughs> at all, but yeah, and we're leaving, so, hope you enjoyed this, and gave you some interesting thing you could do with this game, maybe. And uh, maybe I'll have more tutorials on this at some point. Anyway, goodbye, and thank you for watching.